everybody, it's Frank back here. Uh, I'm at the Education Network. So today I really want to do a little more deeper dive into the idea of layers on the TriCaster. So if you're familiar with Photoshop, you understand that they're a, part of its, its uh, creativity is, is its layers. You have backgrounds, foregrounds, and you can lay things on top of each other. Well, you can do that in uh, the TriCaster also, because it has four layers. So I'm going to show you a, a, a little low-tech illustration of what I'm talking about. So please forgive me, but you have a background layer, then you have a camera layer, then you have a downstream key layer, and then a downstream two key layer. So there's four four layers that we have to work with. Okay, that's my little low-tech illustration there. So um, I want to show you, uh, right now, like I have it set up where I have two layers. So I have a background layer and a foreground layer. And you can easily set that up in the mixed effect. And I showed you that in another video, so that's not what I want to go into right now. But I do want to show you something else uh, and it's called the uh, 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 downstream key, downstream key one and two, which are two extra layers that you have. So let me uh, show you the interface here, show you what I'm talking about. So here are our downstream keys. So right now, downstream key one is set to graphics one, downstream key two is set to graphics two. Now you can change the input on those graphics because right now graphics one I'm using in the background. So I don't want to use that because if I downstream key that, well, there it is, but it's on top of everything. So I'm going to come back. I'm going to change that now. And for instance, as an example, I'm going to show you like, let's say you had a school logo and you wanted to put it here, on your, over here. So what I'll do is I'm going to click this down and I have some put in under the buffer layer so I'm going to pick buffer one, and oh, it happens to be a, a, a gator. <laughs> so now when I fade it, you can see there it is. Now that faded over, I still have the background. I'm still in the shot. But obviously, there's a problem. It's too big. So here's how you handle that. I'm going to bring it back up again. Now look over. It, when you mouse over the thumbnail, click on the gear, and then this window pops up. Now this window is your positioner. This is where you want to be. If you opened it and it was on input or image, go to downstream key one tab and you'll see here's position and crop. So first up what I want to do, it's too big. So I'm going to mouse over where it says zoom and I'm going to click on that and I'm going to drag it left or right. So I say, okay, now it's, getting, now it's more sizable. That's probably about it right there. But there's still a problem in my face. So let's move it. Position, mouse over, get the crosshairs, click, and drag it into the position you want. There you go. Much better, much better. So that's the th third layer, right? So I got the background layer, I got second layer, which is the camera layer, and now I got downstream key one, it's the third layer. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now, um, you know, you can bring that in and out whenever you want, so it doesn't always have to be there. But that's the advantage of the downstream key. Now, we also have downstream key two. And right now it says graphics two. Well, I have the same problem. <laughs> if I go over that, it's going to be too big. But usually what I use for graphics two is what we call a superimposed name or label, it's called a lower third, right? It's going to go here. So if you want to like have your principal's name or your anchor's name, or whatever you want to put down there. So I'm going to show you where they're at. So what you're going to do is in graphics two, you're going to go down to the plus. You click on the plus, And then what's going to happen is your media browser pops up. Here it says stills. OK, we don't want a still picture. It could be, though, if you wanted that. But it would have to be sized properly. Let's go down here to titles, there's blue. Let's pick electric green because it's almost St. Patrick's Day. Whoop, where'd it go? So where's electric green, electric green, and then, uh, oh, I have to select it. 
and then go OK. Now here it is, it drops into the uh, bin for your Graphics 2 bin. So if you look at it now, and I faded it in, and I click there, there it is. There's my fourth layer, remember. Background, foreground, downstream key one, downstream key two. So there's four layers we're looking at right now. But obviously, this isn't what you want, line one. So I'm going to show you how to edit that. So let me, uh, let me go back to the full screen just to show you where it's at. So see, it's in the wrong position, right? It's like covering me over. So what you do is you go back over here to the gear. And just like you had downstream uh, key one, there's downstream key two. You have your positioner and your zoom. So you can move it around. Say, OK, that's about where I want it. And I say, well, maybe I'll make it a little bit smaller, something like that. And then when you get it where you want it, and you say, OK, now that'll, 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 uh, that'll stay there until you change it, OK? So, and any other ones you add will stay in the same position. So let's go back. So now you say, well, I don't want line one. So what you do is mouse over the thumbnail until you see the little capital A and lowercase a. Now you can look at it and say, oh, well, this is interesting. Here's how you edit it. So you're going to click on that where it says line one. And I'll put my name. Say OK. And there's my name. This is another title. Like it could be who you are, what you do, or whatever. So I'm going to put anchor. So there's Frank Anchor. So I'm good. I'm going to close that. So here it is again. Let's take a look full screen here. So now it says Frank Anchor. So uh, you can bring that in, bring it out. Oh, you're choosing. So I recommend you don't leave it there. That's really, if you if you ever watch, you know, usually on the news, they'll bring it in and they'll bring it out again. Um, so there it is. OK, so I want to recap what we learned in this lesson. And basically, we talked about layers. Remember my little rudimentary little example here, the four layers. Well, now we see the four layers here. Remember, background, foreground, <laughs> downstream key one, and downstream key two, right? So we've got the four layers. So I want to show you another little illustration I think will maybe show you, uh, will prove the point that we got four layers happening here at once. So if I, uh, I'm going to go back up here. Let me go to the interface. So I'm going to click on the little gear again, where we've got the, the uh, uh, logo over my shoulder. I'm going to click on that. Positioner. And I'm going to move that so we can see what we're doing. So if I position that over me, well, obviously here's. <laughs> so and then I'll go to the gear on downstream key two and move that. So here's an illustration now. Uh, let me go back to the full screen again so we can see what we're doing. So here we got background on the foreground. Here's downstream key one. And here's downstream key two. So we have four layers. You can see they're stacked on each other. So let me go back, put them back where they belong. OK, let's bring that back down here. Good. Let's get the gear here. We'll bring that back over here. So there's our four layers. So I think what you'll be able to do now is like use those. Use those in your production, because it'll really increase the look and the feel. And basically, what you're going to get is you're going to get more people viewing it and watching it, because it's going to be more interesting and visually interesting. Now, there's one other thing I want to show you, uh, because I don't want to sound prejudiced. But if I go up here to my buffer, I have another buffer. Oh, well, what do you know? There you go. So this is for all you Noel fans out there. I just want you to know, uh, you know, we love you guys too. And I got one more here. Oop. So uh, that's on buffer two. So I go to buffer three. I seek to have something else. There you go. OK, go Canes. <laughs> 
All right. So um, I think it's going to wrap it up for today. Again, thank you for watching, and I hope that the uh, illustration is giving you a better idea of layering in the TriCaster. So have a good day, and don't forget, get in touch with me if you need help. Thank you.